The UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has called a surprise general election for July the 4th. Earlier today, I spoke with His Majesty the King to request the dissolution of Parliament. The King has granted this request and we will have a general election on the 4th of July. The Prime Minister says King Charles has agreed to formally dissolve Parliament despite an election not needing to be held until late January. The 44-year-old's party has been trailing in the polls since 2022, but hopes UK's improving economy and declining inflation will be enough to get him re-elected. These uncertain times call for a clear plan and bold action to chart a course to a secure future. You must choose in this election who has that plan, who is prepared to take the bold action necessary to secure a better future for our country and our children. The Labour leader, Keir Starmer, says the election is about change and stopping the chaos. He says he will return to the country to the service of working people, if elected. Over the course of the last four years, we've changed the Labour Party, returned it once more to the service of working people. All we ask now, humbly, is to do exactly the same for our country and return Britain to the service of working people. And joining us with more analysis live now is Professor Tim Harcourt from the University of Technology, Sydney. Tim, good to see you. Always appreciate your time. Why now? What do you think is behind the timing here? I think there was a view, Ash, that uh, things weren't going to get better for the, for, the, uh, for the Conservative Prime Minister. So he was urged by his deputy to go now um, when they got good inflation news and... Uh, go now uh, before you know the long summer holidays, rather than leaving it to autumn, which had been the what the pundits were expecting to do. He decided this is as good as it gets. Oh, well, as we know, Tim, more often than not, it is that line that it's the economy, stupid, uh, that that really rings true in election campaigns. Do you think that is the case here? Well, he did get some good news on the inflation front, um, although it's not clear that the Bank of England's going to cut rates just yet. And if they did, it was sort of too late for their election fortunes. And uh, he said in his statement outside uh, number 10, when he was getting soaked by the good, reliable London weather, that um, uh, Britain was, was performing better than France and better than Germany. And uh, he seemed to suggest that, you know, economic recovery was was on the way after the very tough COVID times and the and the and the post Brexit era. So, uh, what he wasn't, I mean, he wasn't uh, over egging it, but he certainly seemed to say that um, the indicated the indicators are, are better looking forward.